Okay guys, Stingray Steve here. And uh, I just want to show you uh, the plant I just found. And uh, it's uh, labeled Costa Farms Trending Tropicals. Uh, but it's the Sterling Silver Skindapsis. And um, I'm going to read you something from the spruce about this plant. It's a, a trending plant right now. Uh, the one I picked is a little bit stressed. You can see it's not that dark. So um, I'm sure in a few days the silver will come out more. But it, out of the three that were there, they were in the supermarket. I really should grab the other two. Write down in the comments what you think. But it, it's in a pretty big pot. And uh, I got it for $20. Okay, so there's one of the darker leaves. And um, I'm going to keep it outside in Florida. So while we're looking at the plant, let me read you um, what the spruce says about it. Five reasons. This extremely popular plant is nearly impossible to find. He was going to crown it the plant of 2021 so far. It is hands down the sterling skin dap or botanically known as Skindapsis tray B Moonlight. The foliage plant started causing a buzz late in 2020 and it hasn't slowed down. It is part of Costa Farm's trending tropical collection and it seems like it is not the easiest plant to get your hands on. I'll admit, when I first saw the plant online, I was sure I wasn't sure what all the fuss was about. I mean, it looked cool, but it's a skindapsis, a pretty vining plant with glittery silvery leaves, variegation on its on its leaves. They are easy to grow and not particularly rare. I have a skindapsis silvery end I picked up at Home Depot, and it's pretty and easy to grow. My favorite kind of plant, not mine, but let's go on. However, plant parents in my house plant Facebook groups were scouring big box retailers searching for Costa Farms trending tropicals displays to find the sterling silver skindapsis. Some people were even offering finding fees for this plant. Seriously, what's this plant worth? All that hubbub. Okay, then I was gifted the coveted Sterling Silver Skindapsis. And let me tell you people, um, I saw this in the supermarket and uh, at first I thought it was some kind of um, uh, Cebu Blue or something, but then I was like looking at it and it, I, I I really didn't know what it was, so I took it home and I did some research, and it, it, it is a sterling silver skindapsis. So as much as uh, he wanted to proclaim that it wasn't worth the hype, he had to admit it's a gorgeous plant. So for all of my fellow plant comrades, we spoke with Costa Farms about it. Here is the five reasons this plant is so hard to find. It's part of a popular collection Costa Farms released its Trending Tropicals collection to help connect people to plants they dream about. The collection brings super unique houseplants from around the world to your retailers. We know a lot of people have their wish list plants, says Justin Hancock, horticulturist at Costa Farms, and they can be difficult to find and expensive to acquire. The company is continuously watching trends and finding and testing new varieties to keep up with houseplants and enthusiasts. 
Last year, the top selling plant was the ZZ. They were able to negotiate exclusive rights to propagate the plant in North America. And because of the excitement we were seeing from the enthusiasm, who'd seen it overseas, and what inspired us launching the, launching the trending tropical collection. This year, the plant that's causing the most buzz in the collection is the Sterling Silver Skindapsis. It's pretty cool looking. Okay, that's number two. Sterling Silver Skindapsis is a tropical aeroid closely related to Pothos, Philodendron, and Monstera. The plant hails from Southeast Asia, like its Skindapsis cousins. It's a slow growing trailing plant with leathery teardrop shaped leaves with a silvery sheen. Okay. It's pretty and easy to grow. Two winds, and it comes to house plants, which is one of the many reasons it's popular. Part of the plant's natural beauty, the silvery sheen on the leaves is absolutely delightful and a fun way to contrast other house plants, says Hancock. Like variegated Monstera delicosa, the other, its plants, this Scandapsis total typically does well in average home conditions, so it's not a plant you need to struggle with to get it to survive. Three. It gets confused with other species, uh, which I did. I have seen new plant parents get excited about scoring a sterling silver skindapsis to find out later that from other houseplant people that it's not. All the varieties in the skindapsis genus have silvery splashes on their foliage. The sterling skindapsis, also known as Trebu moonlode, has a completely silvery leaves with the dash of green. There is a closely related species, Skindapsis pictus, which is a lot more common and similar, explains Hancock, in that it's also variegated in silver, so it can see how there could be some confusion between the two. It grows slowly. Number four, slow growing plants have their pros and cons. One pro is that you don't have to worry about it taking over your place. However, because the sterling silver scandapsis grows slowly, it takes longer to produce the plants for retailers. Hancock says that the slow-growing trait turns some growers off. So that's a good reason why they're not even not finding them. The longer it takes to produce a plant, the more opportunity there is for something to go wrong, says Hancock. It's also a relatively new house plant on the scene. So compared to some of the tired and true favorites, Growers who are interested in it ha haven't had a lot of time to build up mother plants to put into the major production. Costa Farms has been building up its sterling silver scandaptic stock for years. It sells out fast. Number five. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm holding to. When a house plant lover comes across one of the coveted sterling silver scandaptics, it's hard to resist buying an extra or two, given that the trending tropicals display typically only has a few at a time. It can be frustrating to see you missed out on them, although Custa Farms made it available to retailers in 48 states and Canada, not every box retailer will have it in stock. Outside of Costa Farms, several small-scale specialty growers offer it via mail. There are also the plant flippers on eBay and Etsy who are selling them. However, Costa Farms is planning to increase sterling Scandis silver <laughs> distribution shortly. So be patient. Okay. When I was at Costa Farm, I mean, <laughs> when I was at public supermarket, the one I went to, there were, uh, I believe there were three of them. And uh, they, this was the the healthiest looking one um, I don't think they've been outside in the light uh, this one was a little lighter uh, than the other ones but it had a, it had a, a much fuller and you can see the darker green leaves on the bottom and I got another one here coming so seems like I got a the best plant you can see I might repot this, but uh, you 
can see the silver on this leaf and the green in the middle. So I believe it's a sterling silver skindopsis. Uh, it, these leaves here are, look like they were in a little stressful light. So if, if you agree with me, please write it in the comments. And, uh, and let me know, what do you think? Should I run over and buy the other two? Or should I leave them there for somebody else? Let me know what you think I should do. Should I grab them all and start propagating them? Or should I just leave them? Take care, guys. God bless.